Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. Happy Tuesday, and let me tell you, the national hangover effect is real. Uh, I have had two very long days at work, crawling out from under the pile of stuff that built up while I was gone. No complaints though, because I still wouldn't trade that experience for anything. Uh, I am getting back into the groove a little bit here at home, just like everybody else is. I've heard about some guys that actually have COVID uh, from the national, which is not surprising. Look, we're all touching all the same things and doing all the same things. So far I've avoided that, which is good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, getting back in the swing, it, it takes a minute and I've got a few cards to show off some things that, uh, will make sense when I tell you the story behind them and where they're coming from. But I wanted to show you something also that I got in the mail yesterday, actually, uh, at the national we had at the at the YouTube get together, we had a couple of uh, great sponsors. One of them was Isaac from over at the Penny Sleever. So if you need supplies, go check out the Penny Sleever. They, he was giving out sample packs and just generally uh, getting to meet a lot of different collectors. And I had told him before, like you got to let people try this stuff out before they'll just change what they're doing. And he he understood that and made all these sample packs and gave them all out at the get together. So hopefully you got one of those and you're gonna try those products out. I mean, from what I hear, they're amazing. So I've got some myself that I'm trying and I'll let you know later down the road. But one thing that I know that I do like from another one of the people, uh, sponsors that was there is uh, Danny Black was there and Steve Souza were there and they are part of Slab Museum. And right up here, you can barely see it probably, but I have my other slab museum that has regular slabs in it. And I kept saying, oh man, when you get a tall boy one, I need I need to know. Uh, I really wanna try that out. And so Steve Souza was nice enough to send me one and I got it yesterday. I had asked him about them at the get together because they were there, gave away, I think four or five of them at the get together, which was awesome. And I said, hey, when are you getting the tall boys? Well, we have them. I'm, I said, well, I'd like to get one. He goes, I already have one on the way to you. And I was like, okay, awesome. And I do have it, it's right here. So here is the Slab Museum tall boy version. And it holds, I believe 25 slabs, which is awesome. Uh, just like the other Slab Museums, insanely beautiful acrylic that is, this, these are made out of. Uh, the lid goes on perfectly. It's essentially a vacuum seal, even though it's magnets. And inside you just put slabs. And so what I did was I put in 25 from the Perez Steel Masterworks set. There's not enough for the other one. So there's, you know, a mantle. I just put the mantle at the front just because you can see the front card. I wanted that to be something really cool. And so these are super, uh, what's the word, classy? This may be the word. Like if you wanna take your collection storage up a notch, it's just a storage case, but it is meant for display essentially. So this is gonna go up on my other uh, larger beast that holds comic books and it's gonna be up there. I can just grab this and show people slabs that are in here and was just so glad to get it because I needed some more storage and the Slab Museum really hooked me up to get me this. So I am uh, thrilled to have this to hold part of my collection now. They are really high quality, unbelievably awesome. They were bought out actually by Zion. Uh, cases bought them out. So all the Slab Museum stuff you'll find on the Zion website. Yeah, hear that seal together? So yeah, super stoked to have this. So thank you, Steve. Thank you, Danny, for making that happen. All right. Let me show you some cards and we'll go from there. Hang on. All right, so <clears throat> at the National, another thing I did was uh, meet up with Chris Sewell and I got some more cards. I got even more cards on the way to me from as we get these PSA orders back from the Grail collection, there's cards that I'm just wanting to keep. And so he gave me a few of those in person from this last batch that he did. One of them was this Hank Aaron. 1964 top stand up. I am not intending to do this set, but it turns out I'm getting quite a few of these cards. I've got the Kofax of the Mantle, uh, now the Aaron. So 
I'm starting to really get a few of these added into the collection. This one was actually in my order that I just last night decided to keep, and that's the Banks, because in a two, it's not a very expensive card. And the way I look at it, I could sell it or I could keep one and it's like, I'll, I'll keep this. Uh, it's, it's like, it's not crazy, maybe a 50 or $75 card in this grade. I can't even remember quite frankly, but to me at that price, I'd rather just keep it and add it to the 64 top stand up collection that I'm building. And then the last one from this batch of Chris Sewell submissions is this 39 Playball Carl Hubble. Carl Hubble is one of those guys that I read about a lot as a kid uh, in different baseball books. It always would always talk about his nasty screwball. And of course, the 33 All-Star game, I think it was, where he struck out, you know, Gehrig and Ruth and all those guys in a row, Jimmy Fox or what, I can't remember who all he struck out, but I always just read these great stories about Carl Hubble. And so I've, I've kind of started a Carl Hubble collection through the Grail collection, I've been able to pick up a bunch of his cards. In fact, I have another one coming from Chris Sewell that you'll see uh, probably later this week, maybe early next week. But this is his 39 play ball. Again, a card in this grade that to me still looks great. Not crazy expensive, so why not keep it? I'd rather keep it than sell it. And then the last thing to show today is another autograph that I got at the National but I didn't have it in hand because the player was signing on Sunday. And so I had a buddy that was going to be there on Sunday, take care of this for me and get it for me. Uh, a guy that works for TriStar. And so he took care of it. I had, I had bought the ticket for Robin Yount, but I couldn't be there on Sunday for the signing. So he got this for me and brought it to me, delivered it to me today. God, that looks good. These masters of the game. There's, I don't know, eight or 10 players, eight or 10 Hall of Famers. These are all, of course, Dick Perez paintings. I'm looking up my list right now just to see um, which ones. I know I need Griffey, I need Ripken, I need Alomar. Oh, I have Sandberg, I have Frank Thomas, I have Nolan Ryan, and now I have Robin Young. So there's still, you know, maybe halfway through this little subset of the Dick Perez Master Collection, but yeah, it was one I wanted to get. Uh, I can get McGriff. I can get Ripken eventually, you know, those types of things. So I just really wanted to knock this one off the list. So this will be going in a stack that's going to Garrett to get slabbed up. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I will catch y'all soon. Keep collecting.